guys, it's Alex here from alexvegas.com. So I'm at Slush in Helsinki, Finland. So this is a two day event, jam packed with uh, keynote speakers talking about business, tech, startups, investing, all sorts of cool issues related to um, technology, business, uh, wearable devices, applications, you know, innovative ideas and all that sort of stuff. Now look, I came over for, I have an entrepreneurial background and I have a few businesses, uh, so I want to be here for that. But as you all know, I'm big into health and fitness, right? And now there are a few stands here that are health related. So what I thought I'd do was go around and, and uh, check out some of these booths. I mean, there are a ton of booths here, but probably about 5% if that are uh, related to health and fitness. So I thought, you know what, let's go around and, and find those health related booths and um, see what they see what they got, see what ideas they're bringing into the world, see what you know software they're producing or wearables or technology or hardware and um, yeah, see what exciting new things are coming our way in the not too distant future. So let's go take a look around. All right, so I'm underneath the Nokia booth. Uh, they've got quite a lot of tech here, health tech, wearables. They actually bought uh, Withings, who do the, the wireless scales, uh, blood pressure cuffs and all that sort of stuff. I didn't realize that. So um, they've got quite a few consumables here and they've also got some really good software platforms uh, for health coaches and doctors, taking all the data, analyzing it, giving you correlation and everything. So I'm gonna go over and have a look at their devices, what they're working on and their software um, and see what new things are coming up. So let's go have a look. So I'm here with Julie. Hi. Say hi, Julie. Hello. So she's going to show me some of these neat products we got here. The first thing I, I've noticed uh, are these uh, watches, these wearables. So uh, tell me, or just get a shot here. What what are these watches doing? So this yeah. watch is actually able to track your steps. Yep. Also to track your sleep, and then to track the calories you are burning. So on the watch, you can see directly the number of steps you are doing. So you have a small counter here. Yep. So I am supposed to do 10,000 steps a day. As you can see, I need to walk more because I have only done 15% of my steps. Yeah, right. So, so those are analog dials, right? They're not digital. This one is not digital. Yeah, nice. Yes. Really nice. We have another product in the range which is actually digital. So I can yeah. We'll go down. We'll go down and have a look at the digital one. I really like the analog ones though, because you know most of the smartwatches these days are uh, all digital. We'll come back over here. All right. So actually, this one is a bit different because, as you can see, you have the digital screen here. So there we go. Yeah. And we are also able to track the heart rate on that one, which is not the case with this one. Right. So this one has actually more features than this one. Okay. Cool. Yes. And that all syncs to uh, an app. Yes, absolutely. Yes, yeah. it's uh, directly connected to an application which is called Healthmate. Okay. So there you go with Healthmate. So you have like kind of a health dashboard. So every day, all the data they will be synchronized directly to the application. So you can have you can have information regarding your activity, regarding your weight if you are using the scales, uh, also regarding the sleep, and more. We have a lot of programs inside, so this is really helpful if you want to take care of your health. So then all of this data, I've seen a few other devices here, the uh, scales and the thermometer. Yes. Maybe, maybe we can have a look at the thermometer, but I'm assuming all this data gets pulled into the same app? Yes. Okay. All right. So Let's have a look at the thermometer. This one is really amazing. So it's an infrared technology, so actually you have a sensor which is able to catch the hottest point in your head. So how it works, just press the button, it goes straight here, from the middle to the side really slowly, and I get a small vibration and then I, ha I have my instant feedback. Oh wow. Yeah. So actually you can register until 8 users. So I am Julie, I'm going to press here, and all the data they will be directly sent to my application. Okay, that's, that's very cool. So, does that, da that data then get sent to the app, and then can you share that data with friends or coaches? You can share with your doctor. Yeah, right, so, so I'm a health coach, right, and uh, I like tracking body temperature. Um, for those of you who don't know, check out my article on why you should measure body temperature. Um, and then as a coach, I want to see my clients start. Yes. So it's possible to get them using that and then I can... Alright, very cool. That's cool. I'll have to look into the, all of that. Uh, and if we run around this side... So here you have 
have a full range of scales. So actually this one is the basic scale of the range, so you can have your weight and also the BMI. And also funny stuff, you can also see the weather outside. Yes. Uh, on this one you can have the same features, but in addition you will have the full body composition. Mm -hmm. So bone mass, fat mass, fat mass, muscle mass, water mass. Uh, you also have actually this trend on the screen, which is really helpful to know where you are regarding the last time you use it. And then this one, which is the most evolved in the range. So same feature, but in addition you have the heart rate as well on this one. And it, me it measures heart rate from your foot? Yes, absolutely. So you have to, to you don't have to wear shoes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Alright, so it just showed that little trend, that graph there before. Yes. Uh, is that like, how do you how do you customize it for you? Like, what happens if I get on it and you get on it? How's, how does it know the difference? Actually, the scale is able to recognize your weight, so it yeah, knows right. exactly who is using it. That's really cool. Yeah, that's right. Very cool. And all of this then syncs to that, that central yeah. app. Still the same app, absolutely. And then the app will share all about it. Yes. And then the other thing I noticed around there was the blood pressure. Yeah. So this one is really, really cool. Mm -hmm. It's a compact blood pressure monitor and it works without any wire, so it's an under Go product, you can use it everywhere. So actually, it's really, really easy to use. You just need to put it up. Sorry, it's gonna this way. So normally, you don't have to wear a shirt, so it's better if you don't have this. So you put it directly into your arm here. So this part has to be here. You open the application, and then you press the button here, and the measurement will start. And, and it syncs with Bluetooth, I'm assuming. Wow. Uh, Very cool. Here, easy project. So pretty much with all of these devices, with the with the wristwatch, wearable, with the scales, the body temperature, blood pressure. To summarize, we can get body fat temp, uh, body fat percentage. We can get blood pressure. We can get um, steps, steps, heart rate, heart rate, temperature, temperature on the forehead. Uh, and what else with the the wearables monitoring? The sleep. 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 Okay. Very cool, and then it all gets pushed into one app. And then last thing real quick, I've seen some screenshots over here. So those those uh, screens over there, is that a web dash? Sorry. So so with these screens over here, how do you access that? Is that like a, a web a web dash? Uh, where it's showing a bit you more can, data? You can have it directly on the website actually. Okay. Yeah. yeah but this yeah. is something uh, we uh, held up over the Alright, so I've got Leah here. Say hi, Leah. Hi. hi. So, Leah, tell me a bit more about these um, dashboard screens I'm seeing here. Is this data all coming from the app? Yeah. yeah. This data is all coming from the devices. Yeah. And what we do here is that we, we uh, look at the data and provide it for, for example, pharma companies when they're doing drug studies. Okay, yeah. So they could get, for example, hypertension study with our blood pressure device and so right. forth. So we provide the statistics and analytics for it. So then, is that data uh, a little bit more detailed than what we get on the application? Yeah. So there are two ways of utilizing our devices. One yeah. is like a consumer way. So yeah. you have a consumer cloud and you have the application uh, where you see all your data and you can so join different kind of programs like the pro programs, yeah. pregnancy programs and so forth. Or the professional way which is right there. Yeah. In that professional site we can connect the patient with the doctor Got and it. the doctor can look at the data right. holistically what's happening at home. And, and then um, can, when you say doctor, could a health coach or a personal trainer use that? Yeah, it could be a, a health okay. coach, it could be a elderly care home, it could be a... Right, right. so it's not limited to prescription. Yeah. Alright, very cool. Alright, so that was the uh, Nokia stand. Um, yeah, I mean some pretty cool tech there. Nothing so revolutionary. Maybe, uh, maybe I've been hanging around with the, the biohackers and the advanced stuff for a little bit too long, but it's definitely more mass audience, mass market, consumer based products there. Um, but yeah, very user friendly and I know Withings has had a massive uh, brand base so it'll be interesting to see what Nokia are going to come out with in the future. Anyway, let's go around and see what else we got here. Okay, so I'm here with the uh, Aura Ring guys and, and as you would have heard, there was a big announcement yesterday and uh, I've just released this new, new ring. One of the features that I didn't know about this is amazing. Uh, what was it? The Bluetooth trick? Yes. The Bluetooth feature. And um, it's the secret behind Aura. It's the, it's the, the secret behind Aura. You, you've got to see this. So Johnny, Johnny here is going to show us and myself again 
this uh, new Bluetooth feature. So check this out. Just see. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Okay, watch. You take the ring off, you can throw it back. What? <laughs> can you do that again? <laughs> you want to do it twice? Okay. Make sure it's charged. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There's another thing. You can switch the finger. Sometimes you can switch it like this. Okay, I got no idea. Yeah. I've got this on video, so I'm gonna go back and like watch it yeah. in slow mo. <laughs> you know this one? Yeah, you can it jump. It's weird. It's, it's yeah. weird. <laughs> that should have been in the product announcement uh, presentation. That, that's crazy. What the hell? I'm here with Cuddy for more. And he's gonna he's gonna tell us a little bit about the new ring. Uh, how it's different to the first generation one, and uh, where, where people can go if they want to find out a bit more and, and even order one of these rings. So, exactly. Yeah, so <laughs> starting from the size of the ring, of course, so it's half of the size compared to the first order ring. A lot smaller, very lightweight, very comfortable to wear. So, there's a drastic change, but still, processing power is tenfold. So, a lot advanced there and also even though the battery is half the size of the first order ring still the battery life is triple triple so one week so a lot of advancement in the technology and the components and then what comes to the actual features and sensors so this one there is a gyroscope and also we will enable the daytime heart rate heart rate, heart rate for higher quality measurement in the time when it's relevant for the recovery so basically in the resting times when you, when you do the meditation <laughs> oh, cool. uh, and if someone wants to oh, when are they shipping and when are they available yeah so we will start the shipping uh, in the next year so 2018 and uh, you can pre-order the ring in the www.ordering.com and uh, you can find more information there very cool and Tell me, uh, someone said there's some big changes with the application as well. Yes. Uh, is that also coming out in April, or do you think they'll be out sooner? Yeah. So that's of, of course something we will be we, we will be planning, but that's uh, eventually in April. But uh, we will let you know that how it proceeds. Very cool. All right. Yeah, it's a pretty neat ring. Uh, I've played around with a few of them here, and uh, I must say, I'm, I'm pretty pretty excited to get my hands on one come April. So, yeah, if you definitely, I know we've got some pretty good specials going on, pre-order specials. So if you want to take advantage of these specials, um, head to the site. Uh, yeah, shoot me a message if you if you want a bit more information, or reach out to the Aura team as well. I'm gonna take a shot. I got a cabinet display here. I know the the camera wasn't really focusing on the on the ring when I zoomed in there, so I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom down to the camera uh, to the display cabinet here, so you can have a look at the rings. But otherwise, yeah, go to their website AuraRing.com and you can see the differences between them all. Okay, so I'm here with the Amber Knight team. Uh, I've actually used their product. Well, I personally haven't used their product, but I, a lot of my clients use it. Uh, Super Meal, Super Meal Green Smoothie Mix. So we're here with uh, Frederick. Say hi, Frederick. Hello. Um, so tell me, tell me a bit about the product, uh, what's in it, and um, you know, why there's so many people here lining up to try it. So it's a drinkable super meal. It's made out of very high quality raw, raw ingredients. We use uh, oats, a lot of berries, we got some nettle leaf, we got some uh, spinach, spirulina, chlorella, a lot of these traditional superfoods. And it's a powder that you mix with cold water and it's ready to go in just in one minute. So is it meant to be like a meal replacement or is it meant to be more of a supplement that you'd use you know, with a meal? Either way. Personally, I use it for breakfast every morning. Uh, a lot of people use it as a snack in the afternoon, or you can replace your lunch on a busy day. So it works for anything. You can decide how much you want, and then it goes as a snack or a full meal replacement. And then do they? Do you sell them in single serve? Like how do they come? I've seen some sachets over there. Yeah. So this right here. 
is a 10 serving package. One serving is 160 calories, which is a perfect snack size. And then if you want to have a full meal, we recommend to have two and a half or three servings. So that would equal 400 calories or 500 calories. And do you sell the single serve packs as well? Or uh, you just sell the big ones? We sell the big ones and then we have a snack size. So 160 Got calorie Got package okay, as cool. well. All right. Now, another question for you. I've also seen a similar product, um, Ample. I yes. think that's the name. Yeah. Uh, tell me, why are you better than them? Because I know this is the question I get. A lot of my clients are like, what about Ample? Especially my American ones, because that's an American company, right? Ample, yeah. All right, so, so why, tell me why you're better. I mean, Ample is definitely great as well. Yep. They also use high quality ingredients. Mm -hmm. I would say our ingredients are still a little bit better. The nutrients you get, are all natural there's no added vitamins or anything in our product so you get everything you need from real food okay and one thing i know some of my clients that do use ample they they really like the fact that they you can buy them in the in the bottles right where you you know you tuck a few in your bag you just need to add water shake them up and where you go is that something that you guys are looking at doing or are you just going to keep the single uh, Right now we don't have a plan to, to like sell it in, in bottles, yeah. but for the future, yeah, definitely. Yeah, and we want to make it as easy as possible for yeah. our customers. And to be completely honest, I mean, you get a single serving pack, it's not hard to go find a glass of water to throw it up. Exactly. Alright, very cool. Uh, unfortunately, I'm allergic to chlor chlorella, and um, that means I can't, I can't even try it. But uh, all my clients that have used it, I know, I've got a few clients that use this, so uh, apparently they say it tastes good, and um, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to risk it today, I don't want to be sick uh, for the rest of the conference, but anyway, thank you so much, and um, yeah, check, check out Amber Knight. What's your site, by the way, if someone wants to try it? Ambernight.com, and there we have a global store, which is the EU store, or then the Ambernight.com is the US and Canadian store. You can easily read that right. Perfect, so go check it out. Perfect. So I'm here next to all the um, University of Helsinki booths. There's a lot of spin-off companies here that are set up. Um, all the research is coming from the university, and then uh, yeah, create these little spin-off businesses. One of them has caught my eye, and it's this. Continuous glucose monitoring device. Now, um, these are becoming more and more popular in the health community, especially with like ketosis and people just want to track blood glucose levels. Uh, the downside with the continuous ones is you require a needle, right? Like there's something that goes under the skin, uh, it sits on your hip, for instance, and then that data is being sent to an iPhone and you got the data in real time. Uh, a lot of people don't like the idea of having the needle in place. Um, so I was just talking to these guys from uh, Glucomodicum, I think that's how you say it, and uh, they were saying they're developing, they're developing a technology that is non-invasive. So I got Alejandro here. Hello. And uh, I'm going to pick his brain and ask him a bit more about this. So I know you can't reveal the special source, but what you're developing is a way to monitor blood glucose levels without using a needle. Is that correct? Sure. Yes. And, and and it's a continuous device. It's not just a one-off reading. No, no, no. It, it can be used uh, taking measurements periodically. And then I'm looking at the screen here, and um, I see that there's actually a display. Yes. So what? It, it will be like a smartwatch or device like this. Yes, the idea is to implement our technology, for instance, a wristwatch, so that the patient will be wearing it all the time. Or then in a pocket-sized device that we also want the patient once they they could do the, the measurement. And then how long would this last? I mean, are you recharging it every two hours, or it's lasting a couple of days? Uh, there might be an element that when we, we need to replace every certain time, uh, it could be a number of days. Okay. We, we still need to pay for it. Right. And I know you mentioned you're about to undergo some, some clinical trials. Is that correct? Or testing? Yes, yeah, so we are at the moment building our prototype, and then uh, in approximately six months, we will start the clinical phase. So we will test the, the prototype, and we will get a, a better understanding of the accuracy and performance. But so far, like in the early stages, you're, you're pretty confident. It's very promising. Yeah, right. Um, and then, in terms of timeline and date, like when do you expect this to, to hit the market? Yeah, well, uh, we hope that as, as soon as possible. Uh, 
after the clinical trials by the end of 2018, we will have a much clear understanding of the question. And, and you were mentioning before that it, you're hoping to get this into consumers' hands, like yes, yeah, so for everybody, everyone. That, that's pretty cool. That's honestly pretty cool. And um, yeah, so there's no needle in there. Is it for the wrist, or can it go anywhere on the body? Well, we are testing out in the wrist, yeah. and uh, with the, for the clinical trials, we will be working with the wrist area, and then later we can test other body parts. Very cool. All right, and so if someone's interested in um, following your progress, you know, and they want to know when it's coming out, where can they go? Like, is, do you have a newsletter list or something like that, a website? Yeah, that so, Glucomodicum. Glucomodicum. Then uh, we have our Facebook page, and uh, you can follow us in Facebook. All right, cool. Glucomodium. So I'll get a shot of their website for those that can't uh, kind of understand it. Here we go. Cool. Another pretty neat uh, technology here in uh, Slush. It's, uh, hopefully that comes to market. I think that'd be a really cool product. So, so I'm here at the First Beat stand. Uh, this is a tech company uh, w which monitors your heart rate variability. Um, the, using a device that sits on your body, electrode that sits on your body. And um, I've just seen some of the data they're pulling out here and it's fascinating. So I decided to fire up the camera and have a look at it. So we've got Anna here, say hello. Hi. And uh, she, she's gonna she's gonna show us the product and show us the data, and also um, tell us a bit about the company. So first things, let's have a look at the electrode. So here's the here's the device. Yeah. And this monitors your every heartbeat and heart rate variability, and it tells uh, how your body reacts to stress, what other factors which consume or restore your resources, and how does your uh, night sleep look like. And you attach it to, to your body. I'm actually wearing it right now, and it's uh, with electrodes. And we provide this to corporate wellness, to HR management, but they can monitor their workforce, how they are, how stressed they are, and how do they sleep? Is it restorative sleep? Okay, so. So my audience, myself and my audience, uh, are quite clued up when it comes to wearables, right? Like, you know, I'm here with the Oura Ring and I've just heard about the new product coming out. Um, you know, the Fitbit, the more basic sort of level devices. But then we've also got devices like the EM, uh, EM, EMF Fit, I think it's called, EM Fit. The Fitbit is Fitbit. Uh, yeah, it's Fitbit. Uh, you've got the Polar Heart Rate Monitor and all the apps. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So, how is this different to all of those devices? Uh, this is more accurate. Yeah. So we have a research of 20 years. Oh. So it's really science based. And of course we, we cooperate with Garmin and so on. So we license our technology and algorithms to them. So if you have a Sunto yeah. uh, wearable consumer product, then you are wearing actually first bit. All right. And then one thing myself and a lot of my followers are worried about is having a device on, on ourselves that's always pulsing, you know, uh, non-native electromagnetic fields like Bluetooth and all that sort of stuff. So I know, for instance, with the Aura Ring again, you can turn off the transmitter, right? Um, however, with something like the Polar H7 Bluetooth strap, you, you know that device? Uh, so okay, so so anyway, there's heart rate devices, but unfortunately they're pulsing Bluetooth all the time, right? So with that little device that you just showed me yeah. before, is that transmitting anything? No, uh, well actually it bears a sensor, but it's not a real-time sensor, so okay. you need to upload it into the computer, and so, then we can extract the report. Right, so the sensor is sensing the metrics from the body, yes. but it's saving that on the device, yes. which you then upload to your computer or your iPad. Later. Right, so there's, that device isn't transmitting via Bluetooth or anything like that? No. no. Okay, cool, very cool. Um, all right, and now you've got the iPad here, so let's take a look at this. Now, this is um, for the data geeks out there. There's a lot of data on here, so, so show me, what's, what's going on here? Yeah, so this is one 24 hour yeah. period, uh, measurement period, and uh, the red color means stress. 
which is quite normal to have stress during your daytime. It means that your heartbeat and your life. Uh, green one means restorated, so you are doing something or sleeping, which gives you more energy. And then the blue color means physical activity. You have done some training over there. And uh, there should be a balance between stress and recovery. And it shows in here that this person had 49% of stress reactions during the day and amount of recovery was 25%. So it's pretty average. Uh, recovery time should be over 30% per day. And then the most important, how restorated your sleep was yeah, nice. and uh, the length of the sleep and the quality of recovery, which comes with milliseconds and that's the heart rate variability. Got it. The higher the number is, the more restorative sleep you had. Okay, so so in regards to the metrics, what exactly is the device tracking? You mentioned heart rate variability. Uh, heart rate. Heart rate. Uh, what else we got? Respiration. Respiration. Right, so that's your breathing rate. Um, or anything else? How's it tracking the sleep, for instance? How's it measuring? Through the heart rate variability. Really? And, and is that reliable data? Like, can you? For, tw for 20 years, we have science-based. Yeah. Well, evidence. Evidence. Yeah, Support. which shows that it, it, it shows quite a lot how our body reacts to stress and yeah. how restorative sleep we have. Okay, so so to, to summarize. The, the sensor is tracking heart rate variability, heart rate, and respiration rate. Yeah, that's the three top, top three. Top three. Okay, cool. Um, all right, and then all this data that we just saw on that screen, is this a PDF or is this an application? Uh, this is our, from our program, but this comes as a PDF. It's a PDF. All right, so then is the user then able to like is there an app app or something that comes with it? So all this data thing what well, gets sent to the cloud does it or like do you need to buy software? Uh, this is confidential data. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But let's say I have this device. What do I do with the device? Like am I plugging it into my uh, computer? No, 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 no. Sorry, yeah. Uh, you order it via email. So we send an uh, invitation that please order a device to your home. Yeah. When it comes to your home, you measure for three days yeah. and then you return with an envelope to right. us. So we. And then you interpret the it and then yeah. you, you spit out the We send a PDF to the client and then he will have a feedback of 30 minutes via phone call right. uh, through our expert. Analyze. Is it possible? to buy one of these devices outright uh, and use it yeah, like Yeah, on our websites. Yeah, and then how, let's say I buy the device, right? How do I get the data? Uh, we send it to you via email. All the time? Uh, no, no, it's, um, it's one, what do you say? It's just one. One. One, one time. One reading. One. So, so what would be the point of me buying it outright? So it's a starting point. It's a first uh, assessment. Yeah. Then, when you get the results, you can see that okay, is my sleep restorative? If it's not, you need to do some actions yeah. to change it, and then you track it, screen it after three to six months, and make another one. And then you pay. All the yes. All right. But there's no, there's no way for me to wear that. Uh, All the time. Device and, uh, is no. that in the pipeline? Like, are you trying to uh, do that? I, I, that would I, be very cool. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I would love to see this. That's well. why we do cooperation. We cooperate with uh, Garmin and Suunto. So, how does that work? Uh, like, we license our technology. Oh, so, I can buy it through there. Yeah, you can buy Garmin. So, there's the same technology as we use it here, but this is more accurate. Yeah, Alright, <laughs> very cool. Uh, what, yeah, I mean, it's something I'm going to look into. Actually, while I'm here, someone told me, one of my followers, he told me to come see you guys, which is why I'm here, uh, and he sent me a few questions to ask, so I'm going to pull them up real quick. Uh, his name's, I hope I say this right, Vinay. Uh, so he, he wanted to know, um, he wanted to know, how's How's First Beat responding to companies like Aura, Zoom, HRV, EMF Fit, 
who, uh, who have products that are a lot more accessible, you know, like because they have the apps, you plug them all in, the data is simplified. Uh, is that an area that like you want to get into or is it, uh, do you want to focus more on that high end? I think I'm not the right person to have. Okay, no worries. <laughs> uh, what else have we got here? Um, yeah, yeah, it was more around that. All right, well, that's interesting. So if someone wants to know a bit more about this, where do they go to find out, like, order this bike? Do you have a website? Yeah. Uh, it's uh, www.firstbeats.com. Okay, cool. All right, check them out. I definitely know. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a play around with this device and then look at the website. Um, this style looks really cool, okay. and everyone knows I love my data. So I'm here with Uslock from uh, Nava, and they their company produces these smart. I'm gonna call them smart green walls. So, Aslak's going to tell me a little bit more about this it's, and why it's connected to the web, uh, what it does, the, the health benefits. I've got a big health following, right? I've got a health yeah. following. Yeah. So, uh, why don't you share us the health benefits of, of this device and then also how you're using technology to make it better. Sure. Yeah. So, what we say is then that we bring the forester inside, so Nordic Forester, which is the cleanest in the world. Why? Because then that brings you energy, health and, and concentration and, and, and stuff like that. Um, if you think yourself walking in a forest and then thinking yourself sitting in a bunker, so how your mind is working, how your body is reacting, if you feel in a dark place or a bright place and so on. So this is what nature does as it cures us. But the other thing is that we need uh, clean air. If you think uh, we eat one, about one kilo of food every day, Two, two liters of water, but we breathe 15 kilos of air every day. So if, if I gave you a water glass with much dirt, you would you drink it? Oh, uh, but yeah. if you then of the air, you don't know what's yeah, happening, true. so you just have to do that. So, so basically, this device has been built. It's called Nava. So it's a smart green wall. It's been built to to bring the forest air inside. So it's a fully automated system. Um, and it's an IoT connection with a, we talk a, like a machine learning kind of a system that will take information from weather satellites. Um, for instance, here in Finland, that tomorrow is very cold, it's going to get dry. So then it knows that how is it affecting just this particular place, this particular room, um, because it, it's depending on how this is being built that the temperature changes here or the humidity level. Mm -hmm. So what NAVA is doing, so it's trying to keep the, the humidity level constant all the time, between 35 to 55 percent. So it knows what's going to happen. So it's it, proactively working for that. Yeah, so, right. so everything is automated from the motor pumps, lighting and everything. So it's just a subscription model. So it's cleaning, it's acting like an air filter as such. Yes. And, and a humidity control. Yes. And, and is it designed for one room or a big office space? Yeah, we call this like biofilters. Oh, wow. So there, there's nothing organic here except for the plants. So the roots actually clean the air. So, so the water and everything goes through here. Here you have stones and carbon and stuff like that. And it's important that the roots get actually the, the air. And if you have mold or soil here, so it, the, the air doesn't flow through. So here are microbes then eating the, all the pollutants from the air and they are feeding the plants. So for instance, if you have this in a hairdresser, there's a lot of chemicals in the air. So you can actually see the roots growing a lot, which means that they get a lot of energy out of the food. Yeah. So that's how it's built. So it, the more the imp more impure the air is, the better for the plants in a way that they will they destroy the impurities. That's cool. That's yeah. really cool. So yeah, again, regarding the size though, would you yeah. use this like in one office building or? Yeah, on one side is this would be in about 50 to 60 square meters so 500 to 600 square feet area. Double side it is 10,000 square feet area, enough for that. So we talk about like hotspots if you know like micro yeah. hotspots. Yeah. The closer you are the better impact you get but it, the radius is about 10 meters so so like what is it like? Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's cool. That's very very cool. And then um so at the moment you're doing subscription models like a leasing type thing. Yeah, sure. Uh, are you looking at getting into more of the personal, you know, like you know, health freak kind of people that want? Yeah, we actually, yeah, that's why we are also raising money to be able to produce more like a yeah. standard product that's cheaper to produce. Yeah. We have to design it here. So mainly we are sending to offices, uh, meeting rooms and stuff like that. At the moment we have about 50 consumer clients. Um, who maybe have a bit more money because if you talk about 200 euros of subscription fee per month so it's, it's not for everybody yet yeah but we are hoping to build it up for people as well and we have a plan for that but we need to develop it and it costs a lot of money so so that's why we also raise funds for that yeah very cool uh, it's i reckon it's awesome i mean it's kind of yeah it's like marrying nature technology health 
Yes. Um, yeah, very cool. So, all right, if someone wants to know more about it, where can they go? Do you have a website or a Facebook page? Yes, or? www.nava.nava.io is our right. website. And, yeah. I just saw the site over here, so I'm going to go over there. And, so there we go, check that out. Uh, yeah, I mean, pretty cool. Uh, I know I'd love to have one in my home office at home. Better than a little electric uh, air filter, right? Cool. I'm going to leave it there, guys. We'll see you at the next.